This video shows how to output textual information on different occurrences during the model execution, which is primarily used for debugging purposes. We'll consider the product delivery model, which you can find in the AnyLogic examples. It looks like nothing's happening in the model. Let's find out why. The product delivery process starts at a distributor, which requests a certain product amount. The request is implemented using the Generate Demand event located on the distributor diagram. Let's examine the event. Execution of the code provided in its action field creates a new order for the certain amount and sends it to the manufacturing center. To ensure that the orders are actually sent, let's extend this action by typing trace ln and in parentheses order sent. Trace ln stands for trace line. Here we use the trace ln function to print the message to the AnyLogic console each time an order is sent. The console opens automatically when we run the model. The appearing messages indicate that orders are sent successfully. Let's check whether the sent messages are received by the trucks. Open the vehicle agent diagram. The truck's behavior is defined via the state chart. Initially, a truck resides at the manufacturing center. The transition to the loading state is triggered by the received message. If no message is received, no transition will occur and the truck will stay in its initial state. In the transitions action field, type trace ln and in parentheses order received, which will confirm that the message is received by a truck. Let's run the model. The order received messages don't appear in the console which means that the messages are not processed properly by trucks. We know that the messages are successfully sent to trucks, but still they're not processed by the trucks. Let's verify that the received messages are forwarded to the truck's state chart. Select the connections element located above the x-axis of the vehicle diagram. This element defines the inter-agent communication settings. Navigate to the communication section of its properties. As you can see, forwarding messages to the agent state chart is disabled. Let's enable it. Our messages should now be correctly processed by the state chart and the message triggered transition should therefore occur. Run the model again. As you can see, the console now displays all the sent messages. The trucks are moving and everything seems to work as it should. Up until now, our messages contained only plain text. Let's enhance them by including data fragments that will be obtained at the point of sending the message. Let's change the message sent by a distributor to the following. Trace ln, and in parentheses, date, parentheses, plus colon, plus name, plus ordered, plus order dot amount, plus items. Our message contains the following data fragments. The date function call returns the current model date. Name is the name of the distributor. Order.amount returns the current order amount. The text snippets that we place between the data elements need to be enclosed in quotation marks with the space characters included where necessary. To join separate fragments into a single line, we need to use the plus sign. In the same way, change the message sent by a truck. Trace ln and in parentheses, date parentheses, plus colon truck leaving for plus order.distributor dot name. Here, order.distributor.name allows us to obtain the name of the distributor the order originated from. As you can see, our log is much more specific now. Instead of printing messages to the console, you can save them to the AnyLogic database. Simply replace the trace ln function call with trace to db. and enable model execution logging by selecting the corresponding checkbox in the database properties. Having run the model, navigate to the trace log item in the AnyLogic database to view the saved messages. Note, 
that we should use the tracing statements primarily for debugging purposes. You should remove them before distributing your model. Thanks for watching. Come back for more AnyLogic how-to videos.